Hey freaks, Raptor back here again, and uh, well, today's gonna be an exciting day because we're going back to Bush Gardens. Hopefully, I get to ride all the roller coasters this time. I know, kind of had to put some of the rides on hold because a lot of them were closed, but uh, today should be a l much better. Plus, it's even more fun to go with friends, and uh, it's gonna be an interesting day. And we are now in the tunnel. One of the most impressive sights around here, you'll see, is the Hampton Coliseum, which is about maybe a good hour away or so from the house. Here we are, here we are, here we are! Good view of Apollo's chariot right well, hold on. If I can get on the camera here. There we go. Good view of Apollo's chariot. We are getting in line to enter the park. I don't think it's quite open yet. It opens about 10 o'clock. And there's the gate. Along with the shuffle. God, the question is. What are we doing first? Oh yes, the best ride in the whole park. I haven't done a Paul's Chariot, haven't done Tempesto, haven't done uh, Alpengeist. I've only done like three coasters. Oh, Tempesto. I haven't been on Tempesto yet. Yeah. And they still don't have Pantheon opened up yet. That's uh, one of the newer ones. Are we all ready for this? <laughs> Matt with a big smile on his face. Ah, we finally made it after that long line. And then we're going to our preferred parking spot. That's what you get with the season pass. You get it pretty close. I believe we're going in England. That was terrible. So if I can do better one than that. I see preferred parking to the left. We are much preferred. It never fails. The world's the most beautiful part. The amazing views you get once you uh, cross over the bridge here. It's really beautiful. Love it. Where are we going to, where are we going to go meet him? Oh yeah, tickets to the bed. What are we doing first? Oh, which one? Ah, you are heading over the Nessie. Going to ride the secret of luck. Oh, making our way over to Scotland. Toward Highland Stables. Now note, to those who want to come to the park regularly, go for the Premier Pass. They preferred parking. Up to uh, four guests a year, four 
kind of like up to two, three tickets a year. And you get about a 30% discount on that. That's been celebrating over 40 years. Now, this is all somebody tried to replicate this, the Planet Coaster. It still didn't quite turn out right, but... That's the one that the diving suit. Hold up. Or, or, I can't remember what the number was. It was the diving rig. Remember that. Oh my god. It was a lot better the second time because then I could actually see. Oh my god. I just remember my last vlog when I came back up to my wife that one time. I was blind, I couldn't see a damn thing. We got the Clydesdale the, uh, Clyde getting a bath back here. Always feels good. Perfect weather for them this time, they're not overheating. They can get up to like 90 degrees out here and uh, for a big horse it's not easy, you know? Like one of the work horses. Hey, uh, oh, I might go in and see him for a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely better weather for you guys. It's nice and cool in there. And you still got the salt pan going. Uh, it's about lunch. Uh, I guess it's busy. Back here at the bottom of Griffin, over here in France. A really nice view of the coaster back there behind me. Just went through the uh, splashdown. Well, got more of a splash from people standing outside of it than in the ride, really. I didn't get wet at all going on it. They even a little place you can drive around a little mile just like that for the police. My wife broke that part the last time we were here. Just waiting for, for Sarah and Matt to get back, and we're gonna, uh, I guess we're gonna head on Griffin, and then maybe it's up uh, hiking in the Alps. Then get on up and go. Oh, I'll tell you what, everybody, that'll take a toll on you. Oh my gosh. Whew. I swear I was screaming almost the whole trip. Holy sh. Like I had my eyes closed on the first drop up there. So I get to my shots. Matt and Sarah are getting on it again, and uh, they <laughs> they wanted me to get a nice uh, a few nice shots of us. They're about to get on board in a little bit. I don't know if they're going to be on this one or not, but I'm going to catch them as they get to the next
Let's think about it. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Like especially after that first drop it. I, I held my breath on that one time. Yeah, that's my favorite. That one you can't go on because as soon as you go over the edge, you can get a pop. Maybe that light was supposed to black it out. You heard it. I almost passed out on a roller coaster. So it's the first time for everything. Feel like going on a hike, guys? We're going on up and guys next. They're uh, going up piping in the French house with a little ski mark. Right over there. The steaming over here is really good. Uh, I guess Matt and Sarah want to go on Alpen Geist. And I'm kind of happy to oblige. I've never been on the system myself. God, you guys, that was incredible. I absolutely loved it. Alpengeist is by far my favorite coaster in the park. I mean, Griffin's all right, but I kind of kept my eyes closed the whole time so I couldn't really give a good legitimate reaction. I mean, I, I nearly passed out before we went down that lift, before we went down that uh, the first drop. And uh, Alpengeist is definitely more of a uh, good mixture of everything. Uh, good steady lift hill. Not as, uh, not sure his age as much as Nessie is. But in all, so far it's been my favorite. I definitely agree with Theme Park Worldwide on that. Often Guys is one of the best coasters in this park. But I know Sarah didn't enjoy it a whole lot. She's not a big fan of Alpen Guys. Oh, I don't mind it. I just want to go on the big one. <laughs> oh, I'm, she wants to go on Apollo's Chariot. So I guess we're heading over to Germany first to meet some friends, and uh, I, get, I guess it's to Italy from there. Alright, Griffin the second time around was definitely a lot more enjoyable. The back, it, it provides a, a, a different experience to it. You're not pulling switch chain forces are in the front, so it's a little more relaxing. Like, you kind of sit back and enjoy the ride a little bit, but... That was definitely fun. Like, if you're going to ride Griffin, get one either in the back or the middle. That's where you get one of the best experiences in the whole park. Well, not quite the whole park. Alpine Guys is amazing. Oh, might get on all right, we are back in the, uh, the new, I guess this is the new France section. Here with Anna and Josh. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hello. And we are in line to get on with this. It's finally opened up. We weren't able to get on this last time with the wife. And she wanted to get on water rides so badly. And she was upset by the end of the day. Lines aren't too bad, so I think we'll be, uh, Pretty safe to get on. Well, this this is exciting. My first log boom. I I really don't know what to say. That's the scoop. Wow. Yeah, that was uh, a little bit better than I expected. Just only a couple drops on there. The rest I still got drenched. Well, not really drenched. Yeah, I stayed <laughs> very dry. I got a little wet. Yeah, me too. Not exactly soaked like I hope we'd get, but it, it was a little bit of fun. It was all right. Now, guten Tag and welcome to Germany. We are getting ready to go on for Bolton. It should be one of the greatest rides, or maybe one of the greatest rides, even though there might be a line going out too long. Oh my God, you guys, for Bolton was absolutely incredible. They especially love the part in the uh, in the Black Forest. Where Sarah was next to me freaking out the whole time. She's like... <laughs> I knew that part was coming. Like, I almost got the perfect picture, too. I knew that part was coming. Like, this is my goal for today. To take the perfect roller coaster picture. I had the pose picked out and everything. My, I want to go on that boat. 
have an idea what your picture is. I already know what I want to do. This is so cool. Oh, uh, oh, ooh! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a VIP. Oh, we have a VIP view of the new Pantheon. Coming soon. There it is, guys. Pantheon coming later this year. Hopefully, sometime soon. I have a couple friends who are definitely excited about it. Now we're off to Italy. We're walking, I guess, heading toward Apollo's Chariot next. And we're trying to get on the uh, Escape from Pompeii while we're there. Oh, we're going on uh, Tempesto, we're going on Apollo's Chariot. Tempesto was interesting. I got cramped up the whole time. I am too tall for this. They should do like a maximum height restriction. So like, even Sarah had problems. She's cramping up too. I mean... Oh, look at me. Look at me. kind of been neglecting this a little bit. Just came off of uh, Escape from Pompeii, which is uh, a little disappointing. I didn't even get wet. I mean, I thought I was going to expect like a, a big splash at the end of the uh, Jurassic Park ride or something like that. But, did that, did, did pass it like they did earlier, and then got up all this chariot. That, that's got to be my favorite coaster in the whole park. That was a lot of fun. Especially with all those airtime hills. I know what it means now. And it kind of goes up and down. And right. Oh, I got a turkey over my face. Had a good turkey leg. That was good. Uh, now we're in line. I'm definitely doing that at some point again. Battering Ram was nice and relaxing. I was able to uh, get just a little nap right on the ride. I know Josh and Nana put them spells on there. Big old smile. I love that. And we are now approaching. Uh, the attraction is open. Okay, there we go. I'm up to you on it. Is it bad? Yep, I think we're getting on Da Vinci's Cradle next. 
The line doesn't seem too bad. It just wraps around maybe like once or twice. That's just about it. I really hope my battery will keep up after this. Didn't look too bad. <sighs> That's Da Vinci's cradle out of the way. Well, I got those two rides back there, but I don't think I can fit in those. I'm too tall. Uh, what did y'all think about it? Alright, I guess. Yeah, I guess. My knees are absolutely killing me. It's not easy being a tall guy. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that just about wraps our day of Bush cars and stuff here today. It's been a lot of fun. I think it's about maybe like 9.30 or something like that. Parks get ready to close. I went on about three rides of a Paul's Chariot. <laughs> and every single time, I got the crowd cheer for us. That was, this has by far been my favorite trip out of everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the people here, they love it. I love this. I'm going to come back and do it again. We'll kind of see, uh, uh, hopefully get Pantheon up. We'll bring y'all to an opening on the Pantheon. And, uh, oh, before I forget, my new shirt. Available on Stream Elements. If you look for it on my Twitch channel, I'll try to pick it down below in the description. And... Well, freaks, remember to subscribe, like, comment, and all that shit. You are the best ride ever. Hold on to your little ones as we begin our path across the 400 foot Rhine River Cycle. Please remain seated as we begin our